Hi guys, it's Shady and welcome to a new video. So today I have another monthly unboxing for you guys. So I know my last one went up not too long ago, but I did film that well over a month ago, nearly two months ago. I just didn't get around to editing it or uploading it for quite some time. So although this one will be uploaded not long after, this is all of the book mail I've accumulated throughout July. So it's currently July 19th. Um, maybe some of this might be late June's as well. Yeah, I've decided to film this video today because I am going away in a couple of days and I won't get time to unbox them before then if I didn't do it today. And I want to see what's in here in case I want to take any of this on my holiday with me. So yes, we have another big unboxing video and I'm so excited. I love doing these and you guys love them as well. So I figured I would do another one. So we have several bits of book mail, mostly from Fairyloot to be honest. Um, but I think I might have some Amazon parcels here, which I haven't ordered. And these have been here a while, so I'm excited to open them. So let's just get straight into it. It would help if I had my box cutter, but I don't know where it is. Let me go and find my box cutter. <laughs> Okay, so the first item is a fairy loot one. So this is either the adult fantasy box or one I pre-ordered. I'm not sure which. Let's open it and find out. I'm excited. I've forgotten what I pre-ordered now, to be honest. Ooh, okay. So this is the monthly adult box. And this is obviously going to be the new Chloe Gong. So here is the artwork. It's called Eternal Power is the theme. So I'm assuming this is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, which is really exciting. Oh, okay. So here is our character art here. And then we have a letter from Chloe Gong, which is so cool. And then this is our book. This is so stunning. Look at this. How freaking beautiful is that dust jacket? So on the back it says, tear down a lover, rebuild the kingdom. <laughs> I love the sound of that. And then we have sprayed edges, which are so cool. Like, look how cool these sprayed edges are. And they go all the way around the top as well. I am obsessed. Um, so let's see what it's like under the dust jacket. Ooh, we have some stunning character art. A look at the character art on the end pages. And here's the back. Loving that. Oh my God, that looks so pretty. Wow, guys. How stunning is that? Oh my God, I love that. That is so pretty. So yeah, we have our foiling like blue foiling on the actual book and then we have a reversible dust jacket oh my god okay i love this i definitely prefer this look how stunning that is obsessed i think i might have to put the dust jacket on that way around when i put this on my shelf because that is so friggin pretty this is also signed by chloe gong which is amazing how freaking cool so i'll just read this super quick synopsis so it says an adult epic fantasy inspired by shakespeare's antony and cleopatra it's fiery collision of power plays spilled blood and romance amidst a set of deadly games i love books of romance and games so this sounds right on my street I'm very very excited about this one and love this edition especially these spread edges so stunning so we may as well keep with the fairy loot theme and unbox the ya box i think this must have been june's but it might be july's i honestly don't know um but this is their ya monthly box oh my god this is so pretty so this is definitely going to be a mermaid book i reckon um so this is the spoiler card super pretty so the first item we have is this wave goodbye to makeup bag which looks like this um, so I don't know what this is. What does it say? So, oh, so these are reusable cotton face pads, which is actually so cool because I was looking at buying some of these because I've started using one of those makeup removers that's like an oil cleanser and I wanted to get some of these. Oh my God, you get so many. Okay, so it comes with five and they have this like seashell pattern and it's like really soft. This is just such good timing and I love that it's like, you know, keep the oceans clean kind of vibe with the mermaid theme absolutely obsessed i love those fairy loops and could not have come at a better time i'm so happy with those it is so perfect next we have a cushion cover <gasps> please tell me this is inspired by ah okay i love this so this is inspired by the girl who fell beneath the sea by axio love axio's books so much the girl who fell beneath the sea is such a cute book it's definitely perfect if you love spirited away oh my fucking god excuse my language but how stunning is that are you kidding me look at this the colors i am obsessed i absolutely love this this is so cute oh my god okay i love that so much so we have a cushion cover then next we have a ceramic plate are you kidding 
makeup remove pad, a cushion, and now a plate. This box is incredible already, and I love the summery theme that we've got going on here with the mermaid ocean vibes this is ceramic plate which is a north coast ceramic plate and features a gorgeous design which is inspired by the adventures of amina al Sarafi by sa chakraborty so i haven't read that book yet but i do own it <gasps> this is so pretty oh my goodness guys i love this this is so cute look at this the palm trees and everything obsessed i always use all the plates i get in book boxes so this will be another one to add to my kitchen downstairs and i love this so much this is so pretty like look at the detailing in the middle as well so we have a plate um and then we also have it says i should have a tea strainer in here but my box doesn't have one But we have some foiled mythology of bookmarks, which are Poseidon and Ashun, I think is how you pronounce it. I love their mythology bookmarks. They're always got this like gorgeous foiling on as well. So yeah, I love these. Look how stunning the foiling detailing is on these as well. So, so pretty. So I will be adding these to my bookmark collection and I'm obsessed with them. These are like one of my favorite collections that Fairy Lou does. And then we have our monthly tarot cards. So these tarot cards feature Achilles. Oh my God, and Patroclus. I love these. Oh my God, how beautiful. I'm obsessed with those. Absolutely adore those. So yeah, we have our monthly tarot cards. Love them so much. And then we have our book of the month. So I have no idea what this is. It could be, I'm sure there was one that came out recently. And I think it actually might be that, but I can't remember what it's called now. But we got this at work in the bookstore. Um, but anyway, we have our little bookmark to match the spoiler card we have our fairy scoop and then we have our character art and letter from the author and then we have our book which this is the one that we got at work so this is sing me to sleep by gabby burton and it says word sting songs kill look how stunning this cover is absolutely love the gold and the blue together so pretty and then we have some sprayed edges which also match the book how beautiful are they love those oh my god these end pages how gorgeous are they and then we have more string a character art on these end pages so this is signed by the author as well oh my god the naked book is so pretty it has a big moon on it as well look at this love this so much the color scheme the moon yes i love it so i will just tell you guys quickly a little bit about the book okay so it says featuring an all black and brown cast a forbidden romance and a compulsively dark plot full of twists this seductive way fantasy is perfect for fans of the cruel prince and to kill a kingdom two books i absolutely adore so so excited for this one i haven't really heard anyone talk about this so i cannot wait to read it definitely sounds like my cup of tea because i love both of those books and the fact that this is a romance as well like forbidden romance yes and the fact that it has a mermaid vibe to it so obsessed cannot wait to read this one i'm just going to see if it says a bit more on the spoiler card about it so yeah it says it's a dark and seductive YA fantasy where a siren must choose between protecting her family and following her heart in a prejudiced kingdom where her existence is illegal this sounds so good guys i'm so excited i think i may have to bump this on my tbr because i love the sound of this and i feel like this would be so fun to read during summer but yes, this is the book from the YA box. Okay, so I just spilled water everywhere. Luckily, I didn't go on any of the books, which if that had happened, I genuinely would have cried my eyes out. That was so close. I have learned a lesson there. Okay, so absolutely loved that box. Such stunning items. But let's open the next Fairy Loot package. So this one looks like a pre-order. Again, no idea which pre-order this is. I pre-ordered so much that I just forget what I've ordered. Okay, so this one is Last Violent Call by Chloe Gong, which is like, I think a short like novella type book in between this one. So it's part of the, is it Fat Lady Fortune series, I believe. So this is Fairy Loot Edition. It's pink. I think the original one is like a blue color. This has sprayed edges, which are stunning, may I add, if my camera wants to focus. So yeah, these are the edges my camera does not want to focus but hopefully you can kind of see them and then i think this is also signed yes yeah, so it is signed by the author which is really really cool stunning foiled detailing on the naked book and we also have a reversible dust jacket with some character art look how beautiful this is 
absolutely love that. From best-selling author Chloe Gong come two captivating novellas surrounding the events of Foul Lady Fortune and following a familiar cast of characters from these violent delights. So that's cool. So yes, this is the book here. So, so pretty. Um, so yes, we have that. And I didn't actually have this book yet. So that's very, very, very exciting. Okay, so next we have another fairy loop pre-order and this one is oh it's heartstopper so yeah i think this is the replacement copy of volume three of heartstopper basically in the previous one fairly sent out one of the pages was unfortunately i think the wrong way around or missing so fairy loot have very kindly sent them out to everyone again corrected so yeah this is a volume three i don't think these ones are signed though oh my god they are okay so this one is signed which is amazing so we have this stunning edition of heart Supper with the green spray edge we have a really really pretty end pages and then underneath we have this stunning foiling of nick and charlie this is so cute i love it so so happy to have this i totally forgot all about it and to be honest i wasn't really bothered because i wasn't really planning to read these editions anyway when i already in my paperbacks but at least this one is readable so yeah i love this edition so much can't wait to get volume four okay so i think this one is the last fairy loot box in this book unboxing so this one may be the stolen air because yes it is okay so i knew i pre-ordered this i just didn't know when it was going to come um so yeah this is fairy loot edition of the stolen air which i have seen glimpses of on instagram oh my god she's so stunning in real life oh just look at that the gold foiling is everything. I am in love with this. I just love this character art. Like, I just think it's gorgeous. Um, so this is what the full dust jacket looks like. It says, a runaway queen, a reluctant prince, and a quest that may destroy them both. So this is set in the same world as the Folk of the Air trilogy. Um, I think we follow Oak, who is Jude's... Is it Jude? I think it's Jude. Oh my god, I've forgotten. I haven't read the Folk of the Air trilogy in so long, but I'm pretty sure it's Jude. Um, it, I think it's her younger brother. Yeah so this goes back into Elfheim again we have this stunning character art here and we have the same art at the back and then i don't know if this is signed so we have our letter from the author inside as well which is super cool um and then we have some stunning art all over the naked book which looks like this here again big fan of the gold foiling and i love the simplicity of this design it's so pretty um so that is fairy loot edition of stolen air it does also have these like gold foil kind of sprayed edges which are super pretty with the main cover okay so moving on to a luma crates box of i think this is june's ya box so this month's theme is night and day um for the june ya box so the first item we have is this ceramic bowl guys i'm not gonna lie i am a sucker for like homeware gods like i'm not joking i love that stuff okay um so this is the box which is super pretty like the moon and sun vibe absolutely obsessed with it so yeah we have a ceramic bowl oh wait is there two? Oh my god i think there's two bowls in here are you joking oh my god oh <gasps> shut the front door you are lying i am obsessed <laughs> this is so me yep i am obsessed it's official i'm obsessed with the bowl um so i don't think these are inspired by anything in particular they're just like a ceramic bowl set wait till you see the second one so this is the first one it is this beautiful sun design like look how pretty this is with the little clouds so yes we have this gorgeous sun design hopefully it's focusing and then inside is a little sun as well obsessed but this one is friggin moon themed obviously i'm obsessed because vanilla moon you know moon tattoo we love the moon around here um but this one is like this gorgeous black and white design with these moons all over it and then we have a gorgeous little moon inside i'm obsessed with these i love them i'll be eating my cereal out of these every single morning for now on <laughs> love these amazing item to receive in a book box so we have two bowls oh my god and i got a plate from fairy loot loving it okay so the next item in here is a cushion cover which is an astral balance cushion cover two-sided cushion cover is perfect addition to your reading room which side will you display obviously the moon side so this is the moon side which is really really cute and then we have the sun on this side definitely prefer the moon one really really cute design 
so pretty so yeah we have a little cute cushion cover okay then we have some shoe charms which are inspired by the night and day i probably won't use these if i'm being totally honest but they're still really really pretty so yeah we have some little shoe charms and then the last item is some coasters which are inspired by dawn and dusk um so let me just get this little thing open oh these are cute so they're wooden um so we have this one with the moon and stars and then this one with the sun and a little butterfly oh, these are really cute i really like the kind of simple wooden aesthetic of these and they smell very nice they smell like a bonfire which is a weird thing to say but they smell good um, but anyway we have some cute wooden coasters so yeah i love this sun and moon theme of this box like i'm actually kind of obsessed with it and i should have known this was the book because i'd seen this around i just can't remember the title so oh my god this book is heavy guys wow oh my god wow she's pretty though she is very very stunning so the book is the sun and the void by gabriella romero la cruz and this one is just like i'm sorry wow the gold foiling the black and white this is just such a vibe i'm obsessed with it like look how beautiful the foiling and detail is here and the sprayed edges you know i love it this sprayed edge is going displayed on my shelf it's on the back it says reina was a creature of the void with her whispering monstrous heart already obsessed with her she sounds cool so here is our stunning character art here on the end pages we've got the same character art on the back see if there's anything on the naked book oh my god so stunning okay this is where my dilemma is going to come into play do i display the sprayed edges or the naked book because look at the moon the gold and black so so pretty um so yeah this is the naked book um i think it'll be signed as well so this one is signed inside but it also has a letter from the author printed into it which is really cool okay so i've got a short synopsis of the book up on my phone it says this opening installment of a richly evocative fantasy series the sun and the void sends two young women on a quest for belonging that is fraught with hidden dangers of forbidden magic love forbidden magic this book is stunning all the items in the box are stunning i love the theme so yes absolutely obsessed with this i cannot wait to read it okay i had to have a little break while my battery is recharged and i had a little cup of tea and i mean that both my camera battery and my battery because i'm tired um but let's continue on anyway so we had our Illumicrate unboxing and now let's just grab whatever ones these are so then we have this waterstones parcel so i'm pretty sure this is my bts book yes it is which is so exciting so we do have the bts book and the photo cards which is so cute i do already have some of the photo cards because we got them at work and i got a copy there but my pre-order came as well so i have two this is my pre-order i did online from Woodstone, so it comes with the photo cards for the first like round of people who pre-ordered these were exclusive only to Woodstones in the uk and the only other place you get them was korea i believe but these are the photo cards which come with the book so they're really really cute look at them love them so much they all look so young in these though but like how friggin cute oh i skipped one by accident hold on there we go so that is the photo cards that come with the book. Some more strangers might still have some left. If you pre-ordered this book on their website but didn't receive photo cards, make sure you ring your local store and you can show them proof of your purchase. And if they have any left, they'd be able to hopefully give you a pack or you can contact customer service. So some stores, including my store, got sent some as well for people who purchase in store, but it was very limited. So I'd call your local Waterstones and double check to see if they have any left, but you will have to purchase a copy of the book. Yeah, anyway, this is Beyond the Story by BTS. So this is written by this person here whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce, but it's like a reflection of BTS's career for the past 10 years. Um, so there's photos in here, things about the lyrics, about the individual members, um, and just lots and lots of different things. So I'm really, really excited to read this. I love BTS, as some of you guys may know. Um, so I'm very, very excited about this book. And I've heard that it's very, very good. So next we have this from The Dusty Shop. Um, I believe these are my Throne of Glass page overlays, I think, which I pre-ordered like quite some time ago. So yeah, I think I have their Akatar ones. We have our Throne of Glass overlays. Here they are. I'm so excited to put these in the book. These are so cute. This, so we have this one. 
So we've got this one here, and then we've got this one, which is really cool. And then these are the individual ones. So this just makes me want to reread it so badly. That are the individual ones. Hopefully, it's going to focus. Um, sorry if it isn't focusing, but these are the ones here just so cool so yeah love them yeah very very excited to put those in my throne of glass box yeah they are from the dusty shop um so i got those and then we have some amazon well this is an amazon parcel um, so I think this is a pop socket I've ordered for my Kindle. I want to print some cute stickers off for my Kindle, but every time I do it, it prints them the wrong size. So until I can figure out how to print them smaller, I can't put this on. But this is a cute little pink pop socket I got for my Kindle, which I'm going to put on once I've done the stickers. Yeah, I got this for my Kindle. Really, really cute. Then we have another Amazon parcel. So my mum very kindly got me this for our holiday. Um, because you guys keep constantly recommending this to me in the comments all the time and I recently read The Infinity Between Us and apparently this book is very good if you like that and I've heard that Every Summer After is also similar to this one so I decided to pick this one up and I'm so excited I love this cover and that is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren so I already own a few of their books but I've never read any of them and I'm aware this is two authors um but I love this cover so much like I can't put into words how much but i'm pretty sure these are all on canva am i wrong but i swear these images are on canva um but anyway this cover is just it's so pretty and i just feel like this would be perfect to read while i'm on holiday by the lake um i don't know exactly what it's about but i know it's a romance and it's quite emotional so that's it i'm gonna go into it not knowing much um i feel like i'm gonna enjoy it so much more that way um, but I am planning to read this on my trip so if you wanted to hear my thoughts then you will in an upcoming vlog soon but I'm very very excited about this book I'm just purely going off the recommendations you guys have left in the comments for me on this one so I hope it's good um, but yeah I'm just so in love with this book cover it's so pretty okay so next we have another parcel which potentially could be from Waterstones now this could be a book I've ordered for my sister though I'm not sure yeah so these are my sister's books so she wants to read the Off Campus series so yeah, these are hers. So we have the score on the mistake and I think she's still waiting for a couple of others. So yeah, they're for my sister. So let's not include those in this haul. I will give them to her on Friday. Okay, so next we have the Illumicrate Afterlight box. So I think this is like a quarterly subscription and this is all like romance books that they do. This is the Ali Hazelwood mini box. I forgot I ordered this and I was panicking in case I didn't because I would have been so annoyed at myself because I have every single other Ali Hazelwood book that Illumicrate has done and it would just annoy me if I didn't have this one to match. So I'm so glad that past me decided to order this um so this is the ali hazelwood mini box this is the little card that it comes with this is for the release of love theoretically and i love that they always include little extra things with their boxes so the first thing we have is formula of love pin set this is so fucking cute excuse my language the book is upside down but i'm obsessed we have like a boba tea and we have a little cat as well oh my god if there is a cat in this book i'm going to be obsessed with it also planning to take this book with me as well when i go on my trip and i might read it so i'm very excited because i've had nothing but good things and i really love ali hazelwood's books it also came with some cute little bookmarks who i assume are all the characters so these are the bookmarks that it comes with um this is a lot of characters maybe these are all ah okay so i think these are characters as well from the other books by the looks of it because these look like the characters from love on the brain as well so yeah we have some cute little bookmarks and then we have this which i think might be an alternate dust jacket now imagine if i could get this open okay we've got it open i think this might be alternate dust jacket and Aluma crates like after like boxes are so good like the a book and all the bits you get is so like good like value for money like honestly um so yeah it came with some custom dust jackets so we have this one for love theoretically which is so cute and then we also oh my god don't tell me there's ones for the others as well are you kidding me <gasps> ah, i love these look at the love hypothesis one obsessed 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 and then we have love on the brain guys i'm obsessed with these dust jackets these are so cool oh my god okay 
wow imagine like ordering a book and then also getting custom dust jackets for all the others like that is just insane i'm obsessed aluma crate this box is so good um okay so lastly we have the book which is obviously love theoretically now i'm not going to read this specific copy i've bought a paperback so I will be reading the paperback um, and probably annotating that one. It's one of these small hardbacks, which I am actually obsessed with. Like, these are so cute. So this is what it looks like. It has sprayed edges and it has a quote on the back. It's also signed by Ali, which is amazing. And then under the dust jacket, we have the couple, which is so cute. I love this. I'm not going to lie. I don't know the full synopsis for this book, but I don't really think I need to because I always end up really loving Ali Hazelwood's books. So I am going to go into this one not knowing the synopsis, which I don't usually do for her books, but I think it'll just be more fun. There are always women in STEM romances and I just love them. So I'm so excited to read this one and I've heard so many good things. Um, but how cute is this? And I'm obsessed with those dust jackets. Okay, the last things we have are these two Amazon parcels. Now, I haven't ordered anything from Amazon that I know of. So, I have a feeling these could be sent from one of you guys. Which, if that's the case, I might quite literally cry on camera. Because, like, the fact someone would send me a book is just, like, crazy to me. Um, oh my god, it's gift wrap! <laughs> this is so nice oh my god oh my god a gift to congratulate you on your new job thank you so much this is from alde and this is so cute that you've gift wrapped it seriously thank you so much and for congratulating me on my new job as well like this is just so like seriously guys this is so sweet like i can't oh there's no gift note inside though to stick in Okay, I'll have to cut the little tag out and stick it in the book. Oh, no way! Got me the Attack on Titan Omnibus of Volumes 22, 23, and 24. Oh, just like, look at this. Ah, I'm so happy because I almost have all the volumes that I need now. And I think I'm still on volume 12 and I'm reading them like slowly. Um, and I love these Omnibus versions. Highly recommend the Omnibus versions terrified of this volume because this is like set with the marley people um but yeah this is volumes 22 23 and 24 which i needed so thank you so much i love this this cover as well like their sunset what a vibe that's probably the only nice kind of vibe you will get from attack on titan the rest is just pure pain um but i just i love flicking through manga and I love the smell. Um, but thank you so much. This is so exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and lastly, we have another Amazon parcel, which I think may also be gift wrapped because I can see a ribbon sticking out the bottom. Guys, this is literally like blowing my mind right now. Like even the gift wrap, like it's such a small thing, but it like means so much. Like it's so sweet. I just, I can't, like I can't cope. This one is also from Alde and this one says a little gift to thank you for all your content. I'm very happy to be able to support you on Patreon. Thank you so much. I literally like, I can't, this is so sweet of you. Oh my goodness. I feel so lucky and like loved right now. This is so nice. Always keep these and I stick all the notes inside the books. Like, I treasure these so much. They're so sweet. Okay, so this one is in a little gift bag too, which is so cute. <gasps> oh my god, this is amazing. I've wanted this book for so long. You do not understand. This has been on my wish list forever. Like, it's so hard to get for some reason. And I love this author. It's just one of my favourite authors. That is A Wilderness of Stars by Shea Earnshaw. I am so happy. Like... Shea Earnshaw wrote The Wicked Deep and The Winter Ward and she just does the best atmospherical books ever. I am so excited. Just had to answer the door quickly because my mum popped by. Um, but yeah, this book I've been waiting to read for a long time. I love Shea Earnshaw and I have never read this one. It says, when all is lost, look to the stars. Oh, I can't wait. I literally like, this order is an instant buy for me and I just love book so much and yeah they just have like the perfect cozy feeling and oh my god but then look at the naked book how cute is that with the constellation um so yeah i'm very very excited to read this i'm definitely going to save it for like the autumn time because i just feel like her books are like best read during like the autumn winter so yeah very very excited for this one so thank you so much for both of these it was so nice of you and i feel very very lucky for your support and thank you so much like seriously i'm so happy right now um, so yeah, that does conclude 
my little unboxing video i hope you guys did enjoy this video and seeing all the books that i got so these are all of the books that i did receive in this video which is amazing so i definitely feel very very lucky right now to have received all of these amazing books and all the other little goodies now i need to put them all away and tidy up the mess in my library but i hope you guys enjoyed this little monthly unboxing video if you'd like to see more of these then let me know in the comments any of my previous ones i do think i have in a playlist but you can just check them out on my channel i think i've done like two or three of them so there are a few more on there and yeah anything i've mentioned will be linked in the description box down below and you can also find the link to all my social media so my bookstagram my book talk and all of those sorts of things you'll also find the link to my patreon and that's where you'll find extra content such as a monthly body read a monthly readathon, live shows, hauls, extra videos and things like that. We also have a Discord and all of that good stuff. So you can head there if you would like any extra content from me. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and well. I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!